Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play Sevtech Ages of the Sky series. Today we are finally going to make it all the way into the next age. Off camera here I've been spending a little bit of time at our mob farm. I do need uh, more shadow gem stuff. I made a flame grilled whopper uh, which requires a shadow gem, but for some reason something's going on with this mod pack and my items just keep disappearing. So I've been spending a lot of time here trying to just get some more shadow creatures to spawn, which um, with the mob farm that we've got, just this little one by six block here, it's not been so great so far. Now that I've got everything ready, let's go ahead and start making all of these things that we need to move forward with our ages. So I have my porcelain, I have my clay bricks, I don't think I need any wood, I do need my crafting rocks. So what's our first recipe? We're going to get the heater here, which is three, a grill, and then the two clay barrels. So do this. And with this, we're going to start unlocking metal tools, finally. We'll move into making Tinker stuff, which will be really nice. I'm really kind of sick of just using stone tools every day. Where are my chests? So I got my Whopper. The Whopper just requires the the Shadow Gem, a Shark's Tooth, and Charcoal Dust. The Shark Tooth you get from your strainers, and the Charcoal Dust you get from milling down charcoal, uh, which I got the charcoal by compressing my low-grade, or no, not compressing, uh, milling down my, my low-grade charcoal blocks from underneath my kilns here. So now my kilns aren't working, technically. So there's that, and lag, and we're in age one. Feels good. We have a whole new line of quests we can get into. Uh, we're starting. Move. We're gonna move into apiary stuff. We're gonna move into the between lands. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we can move into the ben the abyssal craft uh, stuff, which I've never actually done before. So this feels great. The very first thing we're going to do with our new unlocked abilities here is we are going to make a crafting table. Oh, that feels so good. I can finally get rid of this stupid crafting stump. So, like, this is fun for a little while, but then it becomes just super tedious no more worrying about crafting rocks. We can finally craft large numbers of items at the same time. That feels great. What other quality of life things can we do now that we have the age unlocked? Well, we are going to make a ton of chests. Uh, I'm sick of the limited storage capacity that we have. A couple, of, a few double chests, and we should be good to go for a while on storage. Uh, I should probably move that later. I don't want it sitting right in front of my stairs. Let's see. This is what I want to get into. I need to craft a dowsing rod. So dowsing. This is going to be logs and sticks. I have logs over here. I don't know if it'll take the stripped logs. So we'll just use some of this dark oak. I've already found some copper in my territory. I think this mod, this geolog I think it's from the geolysis mod, prospect, yeah, geolysis here. It's a pretty neat, interesting little mod. Uh, you get huge veins of resources instead of like the one or two resources that you normally get from the regular Minecraft resource generation, you'll get huge veins of resources normally. I'm pretty sure that this whole tunnel that I dug out here was probably this Malachite ore, and I've dug out the majority of it before I knew what it was. 
which is what I was trying to avoid doing, but I needed the tunnel, so it's okay. So we've got malachite, which is uh, copper. I'm pretty pretty certain malachite is copper. We've got quite a bit of it here. Yeah, we've got more in the wall, so we should end up with like a ton by the time we're done. And we, I'm going to eventually go back and fill this back in with cobble. Let's go ahead and, you know what? No, I want to, I want to, to mine out what I can see here before I fill it in. Oh my goodness. It just keeps going. And there's a cave. I've been listening to this one zombie since I started this series. And I would like to figure out where this cave is. I didn't want to dig, uh, too deep until I got this mod unlocked because I didn't want to lose all of these ores but there is a cave in here somewhere and I will find it eventually but with all of this we're going to be able to make metal tools which is a huge upgrade from these terrible 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 stone picks that we have uh, we won't have to deal with all of this slow mining once we get our tools made up, our tinker tools. Wow, that is a lot of ore. We'll come back for that. Uh, jump up here. I'm going to take my jingle dress off eventually too. Okay, so malachite is something that we were looking for. We've got it here. Or azurite. So malachite and azurite are both ore, but I need... Cassiterite, Cassiterite, yeah, and teal light for tin, and those are in birch forests and roof forests and plains, which we have uh, quite a bit around us, and we also need to find some coal samples, so I'm going to go exploring and looking for those. Here we are on one of our neighboring islands. This is this is our little island up here. And as you can see, we have found coal. We have a coal deposit, uh, or at least we have coal samples. I think how this mod works is if I dig down in this area, I should be able to find some coal. And there we go. Uh, this is useful. I don't have to rely on charcoal anymore. So we'll just mine up a little bit of this coal and go looking for wow serious okay thank god more than one uh we'll go looking for uh some tin uh, and we got our next quest finished another thing i want to do now that i've unlocked all of this is get rid of my stupid stupid stone pick so i should be able to throw in some copper there and heat that up and that should melt that while we're melting that i need to work on getting this uh crushing table so i need a stone anvil and a mallet let me get rid of all of these i don't need you anymore so a stone anvil is going to be oh what a tombstone so i have a mallet which is smooth stone on a stick and then I need smooth stone slabs and four smooth stone. That's easy. I can make that really quickly. Get some more coal. Don't need a whole ton. So we'll just throw this. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That should be enough to do what we need it to do. This is melting down. And what that'll do is that'll allow us to make... Do I need an ingot cast? Oh no, I might have made a mistake. Uh, ingot cast or cast. I don't think I can make an ingot cast at this point, so we'll see what we have here. Could I make a, a porcelain faucet? Oh, I did need to do that, so I will make that really quickly and come back when all of this is, is dealt with. Our copper is finished smelting. I realized why I didn't need the ingot cast. It's because I can't make ingots yet. I need to make blocks. 
So that should be enough. It should be nine ingots worth of copper here. Once this cools off, and it shouldn't take very long, we're just going to bring it over to our stone anvil here and smash it out into ingots. And then we just left click or right click? Right click, there we go. And there's our nine ingots, but we can't actually use those ingots to make our pickaxe. We need to make plates, and those are really easy. You just put the ingot down and smash it. And one more. And finally, finally we have tools. <laughs> It's not great. It's not as good as an iron pickaxe, uh, but it's way better than stone. I am so sick of sick of using these stone tools. Uh, I just want to be able to be just a little tiny bit more efficient. Get rid of that. Uh, I'll go ahead and make my axe and deal with all that off camera. We need to work. I could go to the hunting dimension, but I don't. I don't see any reason to go to the hunting dimension right now. I can't think of anything that I need from the hunting dimension. So I still need to find tin, and then I want to build this alloy kiln. Uh, so to build the alloy kiln, we need... Uh, what do we need? Kiln bricks are bricks plus sandstone. And bricks are made with, I can melt down clay, no, I can use this, I don't have a stoked kiln, do I? If I just look for kiln, what do I find? Yeah, no, I don't have a, don't know what that is, so, we can make terracotta, and that's what we'll do, and we need... For these bricks, we need sandstone and bricks. And that gives us two. And how many do we need for this quest? You'll need eight kiln bricks in a two by two. Right click with an engineer's hammer. So that's what we're working on next so we can get up to bronze. Uh, bronze will be much more useful than the copper that we currently have. But I still need to find tin. I need to go find it. Right next door to our home island, there's our home, I have found some casserite. So there is some, there, it says nothing of interest right here. Okay, here we go. Here is our tin. So get my shovel. There is also a skeleton somewhere here that I'm a little worried about. But it's a trumpet skeleton, so I'm not, like, incredibly worried. Uh, and with this, we should be able to find tin in here somewhere. I need it. Where are you? Seriously? Let's try... It's here. That trumpet is getting really, really annoying. Oh, there's some some sort of cave in here. I'm a little scared. Uh, let's put... Oh, my sword is almost broken. And I'm walking around with my, with my super good bow, but no arrows. What is this? Oh, it's a mine shaft. We've got an abandoned mine shaft here. Oh, that's cool. And that's where all of our tin is. Is there any way I can break this out and deal with those mobs? Looks like we've opened up into the void here. Yeah, this is the void. I want to be careful of that. I don't want to fall and die. So we're just going to put a bar, a little classic Minecraft safety bar, and dig up this tin. So I'm wondering if there's any...
possible way that there could be a chest in here. Oh, we can make torches now, which is super useful. Wow, I didn't switch that off my bar at all. We can make torches now, which should protect us a little bit. Whoa. What do we have here? Oh, there's the danger. I'm not scared of you, skeleton. Okay, we got lots of tin and a chest. Oh boy, what do we have? Pumpkin seeds, bread, and some of these shadow gems, which is less useful now. We also have a mine cart. We got some string we can get here. Give me these torches. Oh, that's good. I don't have to use any more coal on torches for a while. And then we've got just gobs of tin here. There's so much. There's loads of it. I'm going to mine up as much of this as I can. And then we're going to look at smelting down some clay to get those alloy kilns. Is there anything else I can do on the quest path before we get into that? I don't really care about any of these things right now. It's something we'll look at later, but there's nothing I'm worried about now. I want to get to Abyssal Craft, so I'm sort of like beelining that way. We've got our eight kiln bricks set up, and it's a two by two by two and then we need an engineer's hammer which is sticks whoops string i every time i try to craft something on camera i do it so poorly and then two pieces of copper you can't do the copper plates you got to do the copper ingots and we just hit it right Ta -da! there we go kiln is done so in order to do that, we need bronze, and bronze is going to be a copper ingot, and I need tin ingots. And we get the tin ingots by melting down all of our tin clusters here. We are already almost out of coal, which is ridiculous. I'm going to have to go mine some more coal, uh, but I don't want to until I can make our bronze because I don't want to make any more copper tools. The copper tools are just worse than the bronze tools overall. I do want to end up fixing those stairs to make them look better. We'll go to sleep here and uh, check in on our tin. We'll need to melt it three times there uh, in order to get enough for a block. It melts it seems like it melts much faster than the copper melts the copper takes like a full minute to melt it takes a long time but this should be done in just a couple of seconds i can't wait until we get a real tinker smelter set up and we don't have to be stuck with these three by threes i might as well make another porcelain uh heater and uh, melter here but i don't have enough bone meal i don't have enough white uh to make the white powder which could be a good reason to go to the hunting dimension i guess to get enough bones in order to do that but the hunting dimension is dangerous and i don't want to die uh i need to make some arrows here can i make some flint arrows how easy is that that's pretty easy i could make that Get our tin, throw it on the crushing table here, and get our ingots, and we'll need some coal. Uh, ingots, coal, and that should make bronze for us. We're so close to this Necronomicon. We could get the blood altar. That's pretty scary. What are we going to do here? We need to go to the Shogoth layer over there and do a bunch of stuff eventually. Wow, this takes a long, long time. 
could make a flint saw blade. What would this be used for? To make a saw. Okay. That'll take some time. We're not there yet. We're stuck using horsepower still. <laughs> We're not nearly that advanced. Eventually, as soon as I mine all of this copper out, I'm going to come back and even out my little hole here. And bronze. There we go. Nice. Major upgrade. Uh, do I need, for my bronze pickaxe, do I need the plates or do I need, yeah, I need plates. What I do with my hammer. And I don't want to beat that down anymore, so I need to get it off the table. Usually, in other mod packs, you can't just process what fell down. Did you hear that? There was something out there that made a scary sound. Usually, in most mod packs, you can't process the, the plates down any further. And you can just right-click and hold, and the, the ingots will just automatically go for you. But for this one, it looks like we can process the plates down. And I don't want to. don't want to waste any of my precious, precious bronze. It doesn't seem that much faster than the copper pickaxe. Let's see. Or I could be terribly wrong and it's much faster than the copper pickaxe. Just a little bit. Well, everybody, with that, I think we're going to call it an episode here. We unlocked quite a lot of things today. We've unlocked metalworking. It's nice to finally have metal tools. We've unlocked real torches, which is also great. We can start making proper food we no longer have to deal with the stupid work stump we have proper crafting tables furnaces that's all good uh as always if you've liked this episode please leave me a like if you didn't like this episode feel free to leave me a dislike this has been stg sheep and i will see you in the next episode where we will begin abyssal craft goodbye